This question is talking about lead 2 chloride. So I've got lead 2 chloride dissociating in an equilibrium setting to give off a bunch of lead 2 plus and two molar equivalents of chloride minus. These are aqueous and the starting material over here is solid. It tells me the molar solubility of this. Now that's interesting. And then it asks me to calculate KSP. KSP is of course expression wise going to be equal to the concentration of lead 2 plus multiplied by the concentration of chloride minus squared. So I get the squared from this too. What are we going to do to solve this thing? Well, we're going to use an ice table, so I'll go ahead and write ice. I'm going to assume for these uh, solubility equilibrium settings that I have an initial concentration of 1. That is right at the very, very beginning when I take this lead chloride and throw it into water. It's 100% solid lead chloride. Gradually it will dissociate into this as we reach equilibrium, but right at the initiation it's 100%. So I just write 1 and 0 of these ions. Now here's the trick. Contrast this with the previous problem we did in which it gave us KSP and asked us to solve for molar solubility. In this problem, it's giving us the molar solubility and asking us to solve for KSP. The molar solubility that it gives us, by the way, is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. That solubility amount is the amount by which each of these increases as we reach equilibrium. So I'm going to write down 1.6 times 10 to the uh, negative 2 molar. That is the value for... Uh, that is the molar solubility for lead, and it's also the uh, molar solubility for chloride. However, because chloride has two molar equivalents of it in front of it, I have to go ahead and put a 2. Okay? Now, because this is present in a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio, it also follows that the lead chloride is going to decrease by that same amount. So I'm going to have negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 2 molar as being my change amount. This is what molar solubility does and how it fits into these ice tables. Molar solubility goes here, KSP goes up here. Hopefully we can keep those straight. The final concentrations of each of these then is going to be 1 minus this number for uh, my lead chloride. It's going to be 0 plus this number, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 2. And it's going to be 0 plus 2 times this number. So that's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the negative 2 molar there. Now I take each of these values and put them up into this uh, expression and then solve for it. So KSP, once again, is going to be equal to the concentration at equilibrium of lead 2 plus, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 2 molar, multiplied by the concentration at equilibrium of chloride minus, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. And I guess I can keep the molar in there. And now I'm going to square it. So you solve for that, that will be your final answer for KSP for this uh, lead chloride solution.